That's ZenLaw.com. Someone keeping a secret from you? Ah! Lying right to your face? Liar! Let us do the dirty work for you. Do it now! Dirty Work Wednesday. Wednesday. C104. Dirty Work. work. Alright, Dirty Work Wednesday's on the air at 473-1045. Hi, who's this? This is Jenna. Hey, Jenna, what can we do for you on this Dirty Work Wednesday? Okay, so I think my boyfriend is going out with different people on the weekends, and he's lying to me about it. Oh, okay. And by different people, do you mean like different women? Yes. Okay, so you think he's dating other women on the side, or is he just hanging out with these people? I'm I'm not really sure. Okay. Okay, wait, wait. So you're his girlfriend, but he doesn't ask to hang out with you on the weekend? Well... Okay, so we live together, and he drives Uber on the weekend, but I think that's his whole cover-up. I don't even think he's driving. <laughs> I think he's going out and just meeting other people. I see. So he's telling you, see you later, honey. Don't wait up. I'm off to make some money at the old side hustle here, and don't wait up. Basically, yeah. Okay. See, Uber is the best cover, if you think about it, because if... Like, if she calls to check up on him, he can be like, sorry, I can't talk. I'm driving a customer. If she asks, like, where are you? He can literally be anywhere. He can be like, I'm in Hampton. I'm in Gloucester. I'm outside a strip club. And if she asks why, he can be like, well, sorry, that's where my pickup ordered me. Okay, but what makes you think he's not actually driving people around? What's making you think he's hanging out with them instead? So there's a few things. First, I noticed that he started dressing really nice. Like, he's wearing collared shirts. He's wearing cologne. I asked, why are you dressing up to drive in a hot car all night? And he goes, I read that Uber drivers who have a better appearance get better tips. <laughs> well, you know what? Actually, he might be right about that. I mean, if my driver showed up in sweatpants and a wife beater, I'd be like, eh. So what are the other things? I'm curious. So, okay. One morning I woke up. I think it was Sunday. And there was leftover food in the fridge from the Cheesecake Factory. So I'm like, you stopped for dinner at the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> and he goes, oh, no, 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 no. Somebody left that in my car, so I just brought it home. Okay, again, I kind of believe that that would happen. Yeah, but I opened the box, and it is the exact same thing he always orders from Cheesecake Factory. It's a spicy chicken cashew thing. Every time we go, that is exactly what he gets. Okay, so it just happened that somebody left this box in his car, and it just happened that happened of his favorite dish inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's what he said. And then the last thing was, I asked him to send me a photo of himself because he was bored, and he sent me one that was from like two weeks ago. Like it was a photo. It was nighttime, and the photo that he sent me. The sun was out. <laughs> wow. that uh, I'm sorry. That sounds pretty fishy to me. I'm telling you, Uber is the perfect cover. You can literally say you're anywhere at any time and be like, this is where my pickup is. Well, I need to know if he's really working or if this is just a BS excuse. Okay. So let's find out then. What did you say your boyfriend's name was? It's Sean. Okay. And where is he at right now? Is he at home? Is he at work? He's at home, but he's probably going to go to the gym soon. Okay, so we probably need to hurry. All right, so listen, we'll call up Sean here in a few minutes. Now, does he have any really close guy friends? Like a guy who he would like maybe admit stuff to, like I'm cheating on my girlfriend kind of stuff? Uh, yeah. He has a creepy friend named Scott that he usually goes to the gym with. Okay, so Scott is the kind of guy that he might admit something to. Scott already cheated on his girlfriend. And then when <laughs> Sean and I were dating... He made a pass at me, and now he's just a creepy single guy who asks me to set him up with all my friends. Oh, see, that sounds perfect for you, Natalia. Uh, no, definitely going to pass. Okay. Uh, so, Jenna, do you want to stay on the line when we call Sean, or do you want to just hang up and listen? Oh, I would like to stay on. Okay. Then stand by. Um, we're going to get his number. We'll give it to Shag, and then we'll do some dialing. We'll call up Sean when we come back. All right, so let's call Sean. And let's see. We're gonna. I think we're going to do... Scotty and the Buzz without doing Scotty and the Buzz today. Okay. If that makes sense. You know I love Scotty and the Buzz. I know. Everyone loves Scotty and the Buzz. I'll bring you back soon, I promise. But first this. First he has to answer. Hello? Hey, good morning. Can I speak to Sean, please? Can I ask who's calling? Uh, Sure. My name is Jack Harlow. I'm one of the producers for the Scotty and the Buzz morning show on FM 98.6. Is this Sean? Yeah. What can I do for you? 
Okay, so I was hoping we could put you on the air with us this morning. The guys were talking about jobs where you get a ton of chicks, like airplane pilots, doctors, stuff like that. And this guy texted us and was like, you have to call my friend Sean. He drives Uber on the weekends and he gets chicks all the time. Wait, wait, who sent you that? Um, it was somebody who texted us. I guess he's a friend of yours. I think his name might have been Scott. I'm not sure. Anyways, I texted him back, and he gave me your number. And then Scotty and Buzz thought it would be hilarious to talk to you about all the women you end up with because of Uber. That's why I called you. Oh, man. And this is this is on which station? FM 98.6. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can't really talk about that on the radio. Oh, man. Why not? This will be hilarious. I mean... You know, here we think all doctors and lawyers who drive BMWs get all the chicks, and you would be proving everybody wrong, you know? Yeah, I know, but here's the thing, man. I have a, I have a girlfriend, and as of right now, she still thinks I go out every weekend just to drive around and pick people up. So if she found out the truth, that's pretty much the end of that. I gotcha. Okay, so you're afraid she might hear you, and then bam, party's over. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I got a really good thing going on right now, so I'm not trying to mess that up. <laughs> a good thing going on with the girlfriend or a good thing going on with all the other chicks? Both, actually. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, listen, what if we changed your name? I mean, we could call you like John Uber or something. Yeah, but you know what? You could change my name, but she's probably still going to recognize my voice or somebody else might recognize my voice and then tell her. Okay, so you don't want to go on the air. Then can I at least get a quote from you that I can like read on the air? Like, we won't use your name. I'll just say a guy who drives Uber said what? Um... It's it's super easy to hook up with girls if you're driving Uber. Um, if you have a nice appearance and you don't come across too pushy, you know, creepy or anything like that. I mean, if you got a, I have a car. I, I, there was one night I had a, a car full of hot girls. All right, and they're in my car for like 25 minutes. All I had to do was talk to them, turn on the charm a little bit, and almost always, anytime this happens, at least one of them will ask for my number when I get off work. So I go, well, you know what? You have my number. It's on the app. Just text me. And so, boom. So I it's a, it's like shooting fish in a barrel then. <laughs> it's like shooting a j in a barrel. Oh, my. Oh, wow. I've never heard that phrase before. And your girlfriend has no idea. Nah, she thinks I go out driving all night. So Okay, yeah. Except the, here's the craziest part, dude. She's actually listening to this conversation right now. Oh, snap. Wait, what? He said she's listening right now. So, yeah, you're a lying and you're busted. Wait, what the hell's going on right now? What's going on is you thought you were so f***ing slick with your side hustle, which apparently was more about getting a side piece than it was about getting a side income. Well, no, 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 no. I was just playing it up for the radio. I'm well, gonna... I hope that one of your side pieces has a side bedroom because as of right now, you have about one week to get all of your sh and move it outside. And I'll be at my parents' house until Sunday. And when I come back Sunday night, you better be gone. Hold on, you don't even want to talk about this? Mm, yeah, let me think about that. No, get your sh and get gone. Goodbye. Oh, wow. That was, Yikes. That was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm.